It's Reddit time. Let's see what people are talking about, complaining about, or praising Supercell about this week. I'm finally done and quitting. Fantastic start to the video. Can we get a round of applause, everybody? First post we see is somebody quitting the game, but actually the the, the image is kind of funny. Supercell, the greedy. What a perfect title. <laughs> it's actually a good combination. I'm not going to lie. It was just different. And this post is completely right. The feeling of getting a legendary star drop cannot even compare to the feeling of getting that flashing number one. Even though I didn't exactly like the flashing one, comparing it to legendary star drop is still, it still felt better. I like the element of surprise where you open something and you don't even know like the rarity of what you're about to get. You just get it. That's how early Clash Royale was, early Brawl Stars. You would open a Brawl Box or you would open a chest and you would get jump scared by the reward and if it's the thing you want it's just suddenly there in your face you have no warning i like that but comparing these two the number one in the box is still better legendary startups don't feel that crazy because most of the time you're expecting to get like coins okay it's getting a little intense enough is enough there is no meme i think we should all delete the game if the next brawler is op the team has proven over and over again that they don't care about us they just want our money enough is enough uh brawl star is supercell they're a company of course they want money but they also need a good game in order to make money in the long run so if they keep releasing overpowered brawlers it will actually be a problem. It will hurt the game. Right now, Brawl Stars is at its all-time peak, and we don't exactly know what that's, what caused it. It could be overpowered brawlers, so then noobs can have fun with it, but I don't think that's exactly it. I think it's mainly just a combination of a bunch of old updates and them making the Brawl Pass feel better. Maybe it's hypercharge, maybe it's 5v5, or it's everything combined, but I don't think that having overpowered brawlers is good for the future of the game but i also don't think we should all just delete it maybe we should do something else to show them that it's not good for me i think larry laurie was the line where i'm starting to feel like yeah it's getting a little ridiculous how strong the brawlers are on release guys we need these balance changes buff larry but nerf doug doug is way too strong guys his hypercharge literally game breaking he just one shots the entire team and reses his team as well it's so bro no, but seriously doug needs a rework i really I do wish that there was more of a focus on brawlers who are fundamentally terrible or outdated like doug frank all those guys finally some no scam free stuff it's kind of sad that i have to read that and it's kind of sad that it's also not even a lie it's it's pretty truthful so you already know this these were the official changes i guess i'll give my opinion on this Maisie supercharge change is great i think that's exactly what she needed because she got her super too fast and as a result got her hypercharge too fast larry laurie's four nerfs are good but it's not even enough now that these things were nerfed it's just letting their other problems shine which is mainly their health still their gadget and their absurd damage i think they do way too much damage still because it was not changed at all this just made an invincible brawler less invincible and removed the heist cheese that's pretty much all that was changed the supercharge being increased made it so then larry can't be invincible as often the hp decrease it makes them less invincible and the first star power also just makes them less invincible so they're hardly even changed at the end of the day they're just more killable now <laughs> if that makes sense and this thing where fang and uh edgar won't get their hypercharge from gadgets and star powers anymore is a good change because getting half of your hypercharge with one fresh kicks was so weird i have a whole video coming out it might already be out about how i would rework hypercharge so go check that out if you want to see that frank attack rework idea see this is the kind of stuff i'm looking for especially for frank because I, I think Frank is really fun. He's just so fundamentally terrible. Frank's attack rework. Instead of just standing still, Frank now jumps two tiles at the aiming direction, similar to Mortis's attack. I don't know about that. That might be a little uh, broken. He can still be damaged while jumping, unlike Miko. This rework won't remove his gimmick while making him more versatile and less of a punching bag. Yeah, I don't know about this. I think this would be too overpowered. Most of the time, Frank is like barely out of range. So a very slight range buff would actually make Frank one of the best brawlers in the game. I'm not even lying. They've done it in the past, although it was a really long time ago. Slight range buff makes this brawler insane. So they, if they want Frank to be good for a little bit, they could just do that. Give him like a fourth or a half tile range buff. He will be going sicko mode, wild mode, going crazy over the entire meta mastery madness 
Yep, yep, that's me. I quit. I was doing Mastery Madness, and every single match was just this over and over again. Larry Lori dunking on me. So lame, bro. And the fact that they're still that good, and I still see three of them every game, I'm not playing anymore. And it sucks because I was on the grind before this happened. Let's play a game. When was the last time a new brawler was released and wasn't immediately breaking? and dominating the meta. I think Otis sucked. I think Lou sucked. Ruffs was broken. Surge was broken. I don't know about Meg. I think Amber was a little broken. Chester was broken. Cordelius was broken. Sandy was broken. Charlie was broken. Gray was broken. Fang was broken. Buzz was not broken. He barely got changes at all. Buster was broken. Chuck was broken and heist. Doug, dog water. Terrible. Janet, pretty good top 10 she was kind of broken but she wasn't game breaking lou sucked he was terrible squeak sucked he was so bad eve was broken especially in duels rt i don't remember and mika was okay swag and crow were here from the beginning i don't know what they're doing here leon was broken as well so like 80 percent of these brawlers were broken on release i will master the top comment but we're not here for the text we're just here for the picture of oj in a maid outfit i think this is uh, his colette cosplay and he did it really well he nailed it good job oj <laughs> okay we have a pineapple gene hypercharge concept you can pull multiple people and it's just feeling them up. I don't exactly know what's going on here. It does hold them there for three whole seconds. It's a good concept being able to pull multiple people, but this part, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Gene is already good enough at stunning people. Most assassins are decent counters. Incoming, Larry, super, infinite health, gadget, boom. Killing basically two different people at once, and he already has another super, bro. Like, assassins are not very good counters. As long as the Larry is just pushing one button, the assassin is no longer a counter. Someone cooked here with these balance changes. Because all hope is lost currently with our balancing team, I have chosen to cook. Let's see what you're cooking with. Nerfs. Cardboard box gadget speed nerf and showdown star power change to kit deals 80% more damage to enemies. I mean, already, this one seems a little weird. Why would kit do that much more damage just from a star power? Fang, damage nerf and hypercharge super charge nerf, plus removal of popcorn trail. I don't know if they're trying to kill Fang or what, but <laughs> I don't know if these really cook in here. I don't know. Miko, slight delay between shots. That one's actually fine. Maisie, hypercharge supercharge is nerfed. They just did that. All right, well, that's not bad. Chuck, Oldest post is now removed upon elimination. That would make sense, but I feel like he would be absolutely ruined from that because he's only good in heist right now. Dynamite satchel charge is nerfed by half a second. That's a pretty good change. Larry Lori just nerfed their whole kit. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Buffs. Ash receives a small damage buff. Okay, uh, whatever. Uh, B receives a significant damage buff. No, I, I don't like it when B is one-shotting me. Maybe they could change something else about her kit besides the fact that she one-taps you. Buster, bring a 0.5 second slow back to the gadget, but the damage just have it? See, I don't know. I prefer it when annoying mechanics are nerfed. That buster gadget is just annoying. So maybe they could change something else about him to make him better rather than an annoying aspect. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Frank can now move while using his attack, but he moves 80% slower. I've been saying that for such a long time. That's actually your cooking right there. That is an insane change. If they would do that, I would be loving life. I would become a Frank man. Gus, re-add knockback to cookie popper. I agree. Them removing that was kind of weird. Harley's unload speed is returned to its normal state, but her damage is nerfed 33%. Okay, wait, that's actually not that bad. Charlie does feel a little janky now, but if they were to just nerf her damage and then give her like a little bit more speed with her attack, I think that might actually feel better. So you're kind of cooking there as well. Blockbuster moment. Like, yo, I, I don't know what this subreddit has become. What? Get this picture out of my screen. Probably my best hypercharge idea yet. All right, it better be cloudy with hot dogs. I like the reference. While hypercharged, Doug is super will summon his twin hank on his side oh no it's it's a joke all right well while hank is in range transfer all incoming damage to him instead yeah i should have seen this coming i thought it was actually gonna be something really cool number one dinah is crazy 4,243 trophies. I don't even understand, man. The new changes to the matchmaking actually broke the way people were playing. And it makes trophies actually useless. Apparently, Fang Hypercharge is worth 550 gems, five times value. Yeah, no. That's more than the brawler would cost. I really wonder what determines the prices for these. Or they're just like, hey, just put this number on there, cross it out, put a lower number, put a value right there call it a day <laughs> what's the fastest way to kill this bot oh good lord that collect hypercharge that's really fast i don't know if that beats crow hypercharge though but that is actually very quick after completing a mastery road you should get along with the title of free legendary star drop this 
isn't even a bad idea because you stop getting progression rewards like halfway through and for the last like what 10 15 000 points you just get cosmetics but adding a legendary star drop would actually be pretty sick especially for free-to-play players because it would incentivize those free-to-play players grinding your game just for a little bit of extra progression at the end. Otis hypercharge idea, Sill covers your screen when hit by super. That would be so obnoxious, but we've never seen anything like this in the game where your screen gets obstructed by some type of ability. I'm still waiting for like a darkness thing with a super or anything to really obstruct vision. There's not been a single thing. So while this would be annoying, it's not even a terrible idea. All right, listen, you were cooking so hard with this one. I don't remember if I've already reviewed this art, but if I did, I'm saying it again. This looks sick. Even the colors with this skin that everybody hates looks incredible with this art. Four new quest ideas, part one. Ooh, we're going to see more of these, I guess. Uh, win three battles in a row. Not terrible. Uh, finish first place three times in solo showdown. These must be kind of like more difficult quests. Win five battles using a rare brawler that's not even bad either actually that would that would add more to the rarity of brawlers because right now rarities feel kind of useless because the only thing that affects the rarity of a brawler is your chance to get them in a hypercharge besides that there's really nothing else to really show you how rare a brawler is because they're all on the trophy road activate hypercharge 10 times see for brawlers or players who don't have that that would be kind of tough though can we all agree that we need at least an extra player pin slot yeah i don't know why there's only two i feel like they could add a little bit more especially with how many pins we have i'm always like cycling between a couple pins for this one what title is he going for your mom that one's obvious someone remember that old cartoon they made before the game was released man that was my childhood for sure M many good memories i'm so lost about what's happening right now is this real or is this just some really good art that somebody made <laughs> oh no it's it's art but that looks really good showdown game throwers should be bannable see i don't know if he's talking about the piper just throwing the match or the Larry being a thrower, but I'm gonna assume that this Piper's throwing because the teammate's Larry and Piper hates Larry. So yeah, the four horsemen of no skill. Tick, Larry, Fang, Edgar. You're not wrong. Is everybody getting these huge trophy range disparity matches? That is the new matchmaking for you right there. Look at the difference in these trophies. These guys have like double or even triple most people on the enemy team. That's apparently happening very consistently, so people are getting 4,000 dynamics. How would you buff these guys? I would give them one more damage and one more health, and that's it. We can call it a day there. The top 10 most annoying brawlers in the game's history. Number one, Charlie on release. I actually perfectly agree. Let's go down to 10 though. Mortis, trash randoms play him. Kit on release, that was pretty obnoxious. Eight, Larry on release. I might even put that higher, bro. Like, Larry is just so boring to fight. <laughs> I will never put that down. Pre-nerf Gale was also very annoying. I kind of forgot about Gale. Uh, Fang right now plus awful in my team, I, I guess. I feel like we could slip in, like, Squeak instead of Fang, though. Number five, Dynamite with Satchel Charge. It's not even the most common thing in the world. We could definitely put someone else there as well. Number four, Tick always agreed. That one's pretty obnoxious. And Cordelius on release was pretty obnoxious. Surge with the teleport was the bane of my existence. I agree. Number two is a perfect spot for that, actually. Drew all the crow skins for fun. And you drew it really well. These actually look so cool. I wonder what the lore to this is, because they're all beat up. The only one that's smiling is Captain Crow. That's a that's an interesting touch. It's giving me like My Hero Academia vibes. But all right, that's going to do it for today's Reddit video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.